In this segment of the video series, I'm going to show you how to assign your building mode to the building. The building mode is a sum of all of the total modes in the plumbing fixtures within the building. So what I've done now is I've gone through and I've assigned all of the total modes to the plumbing fixtures in the building. And you can see I've done that on the second floor here. And each one of the total loads has been circled to identify it. On the second floor, I have arrived at a sum of 36.75 WSFU. On the first floor, I've gone through and I've assigned the labs, the water closets, dishwasher, service sink, and kitchen sink. Uh, I did not assign the hose bibs to the first floor. I kept those as the lower floor. And with that group, I came to uh, a total load on that floor of 45.75 WSFU. And then on the lower level, the basement level, what I did here was you can notice that I kind of took the uh, shower, the water closet, and the lab, and I looped them together and classified them as a bathroom group. In the lower left-hand side of your drawing, you'll no notice in the notes, it says that the bathroom group is located in the basement and that it's used by the gym teacher only. In the definitions of bathroom groups, uh, which you'll find up in 381, uh, it basically states that if these three fixtures are located together and on the same floor level uh, and basically can't be used by anyone else but the person within that room, inside of that bathroom, uh, then they're, they're given an adjusted load. Uh, as you look over table 2 in the code, you'll notice that there isn't a type of fixture or a group specified in there for bathroom groups. So what you end up having to do here, you have to go back to table 382.41b and scan that table. And as you get to the bottom of that table, you'll notice that they have a bathroom group uh, with a shower stall, a lavatory sink, and a water closet and of course the water closet in this particular instance is a flush tank water closet which then if we take a look at the total loads total loads equal three and a half WSFU so make sure that you make that adjustment on your drawing if you already have it um, then from there we have the drinking fountain the service sink and the wash fountain uh, on the wash fountain make special note that you notice that it is a wash fountain and it's semi-circular. There's a difference between circular and semi-circular. Uh, if we go back to table 382.40, table 2, you'll notice there are two different loads, semi-circular and circular. Just make sure that you grab the total load of 2 for a semi-circular. And after we've added those all up, uh, the basement floor then consists of the two hose bibs, and those were three quarter inch hose bibs, so each one of them was four WSFU apiece. Uh, the bathroom group, the drinking fountain, the service sink, and the wash fountain uh, total up to 16.75. What I did next was I took the sum of each floor. 36.75, the 45.75, and the 16.75, added them all together, and then assigned the building load. And so the building load for this particular project is 99.25 WSFU.